Hi love, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome, my name is Jen. So today I wanna try something different. My plan today is to use a palette that I have in my makeup collection that I don't think is the best palette ever. What I mean by that is that we all have a palette that doesn't seem to be working well. And yeah, so I will be playing with this palette here. And this palette, I got it from Forever 21, back in the days when it was open. And to be honest, it's not the best palette ever, but what I wanna prove today is that if you know how to work with eyeshadows, you can make a not so good palette workout. So we'll see how it goes. I am going to show you again the palette that I'm using. So like I said, it's the palette I bought at 21 Forever. And these are the shades that are in there. It's very a palette with a lot of um, light shades. But like I said, I really want to show you that we can make a palette work. So it's all about techniques, I think. <laughs> I really hope this is gonna work out or else I'm gonna be so ashamed of myself. As a transition, I will go in with this color here. Okay, next I will be using this shade here. And this is kind of shimmery. I don't know if you can tell, but no, 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 it's not true. I am first going to blend this shade here with this one here. Okay, this shade is not picking up at all. So I am going to first pack this shade on the edges of the first shade and I will then blend this out. This shade is very not pigmented, but like I said, my goal here is to make this palette work. So that's what we will do. Okay, now that I'm done, this color looks so beautiful like by itself. I could call it a day, do a little wing, put on lashes and call it a day. It's pretty, what you think? Tell me what you think. But like I said, I wanna give this palette a fair chance. So I am going to go with this shade here. And I remember swatching it. I'm going to swatch it for you. This is the kind of shade that it's kind of, it looks like a dark purple, like a shimmery dark purple, but, but once you apply it on your lids, it's very, very, very a deep color. So I'm just gonna, yeah, see? So this is very a deep color. So what I'm going to do, I will deepen my crease with this shade here. And hopefully it goes well. This is so funny because when I swatch this shade with my finger, it was very pigmented. But now that I'm trying to pack it on my lid, it's not pigmented at all. So I feel like this is a shade that would be pretty if you would put it on your lids using your fingers. Okay, on this side here, I went way too high, but I'm not worried because it's not too pigmented. It's going to work out anyway. So I will be going with the first brush that I have used earlier and blend this out see this is so funny like <laughs> there's the shade is not even showing up anymore it's crazy what it shows a little but not as much as i wanted it to be Okay, not too bad. I'm going back with the first shade to blend this out a little. Going back with the darkest shade of the palette. 
the more I layer it, the more it shows up. It's not too bad, right? The trick is really to work with the palette, you know? So next, what I want to do is pack on this shade using my fingers. It is a pink shimmery shade. And I think on top of it, I would like to use this one here, which is a lighter pink shade. I'm going to use the shimmery lighter pink shade so my brush is wet honestly I don't even know how I feel about that right now I really don't know I am going to do my face and I'll be right back okay I completed my face put it on my lashes my dramatic <laughs> lashes um, I decided to go with these dramatic lashes because um, you know to to juice it up a little so okay now we're gonna finish the eyes sorry about that we're gonna finish the eyes um, just gonna go back again to remove like all the glitters that are that are here I am going to keep it pretty simple under the eyes. I am I will be using this shade on the on my lower lash line. That's the first shade that I have used as a transition. So we're keeping it simple. For real, in the entire palette, I really like this shade here. Like it's bomb like look at this I don't know if you can tell but anyways um yeah and no we're not done for my inner tear duct I am going to use this shade here and I will also wet my brush okay I am going to go on top of this shade with this one here because it's not showing up like it's very light on the pan but when I put it down okay all the shimmery shades of this palette are very weird I'm adding mascara to my bottom lashes okay so this is the final look um the struggle was a little bit real like I'm going to be honest <laughs> I think I look pretty decent for a palette that wasn't that great um, let me know what are your thoughts on the look if you think it looks good then don't throw away your cheap palettes cuz you can make it work if you liked the video give it a big thumbs up if you're not subscribed already, please do so because it means a lot to me and I really want you to join our family. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you on my next one. Mwah.